Major candidates in the elections are already complaining. We had one say the other week that you don't have the capability to transmit the votes once they are voted to transmit the results electronically. Well, I don't know who. Database. I don't know who said so, but look at what we have done. We did the pilot in August 2020 at Nasarawa State in central Nigeria when we conducted a by-election in state constituency. And since then, we piloted the transmission of results in 105 constituencies nationwide, including major governorship elections. We did it in Anambra, we did it in Ekiti and Oshung, we also did it in the federal capital territory. Now, some of them may be small elections in the Nigerian context, but the state with the least number of registered voters in places where we transmitted election results is Ekiti. Is Ekiti. But Ekiti has more registered voters than Gambia and Kevat put together. Uh, so we are happy uh, with the pilot that we have conducted and we are reasonably confident in the strength of the processes. Uh, I mean, even in rural areas. The machine on election day doesn't rely on the internet to accredit voters. It works offline. Now, when it comes to transmission of results, that's where you need network. But if there's no network in the immediate vicinity, the scanned image of the polling unit level results, which is taken using the beavers, will be transmitted as soon as the staff move from the polling units to the collection centers. Mm -hmm. And we have been working with the major um, telecom uh, companies in Nigeria, and we are satisfied that there are a number of blind spots uh, can be addressed in the country, and the number of blind spots where you have no network is really small.